Hungary. Alessios Natunis representing Greece. Osvath third in London. But that was in the foil. So here he has a chance now to get through to a major final in the Sabre. So a lot of these have two weapons that they're competing in here. Of course, they've got to qualify in both. Well, it's the Hungarian. And you can see now just fixing his wheelchair onto the platform. He will be the higher ranked coming into this competition. Ranked fifth after his pulls. Richard Osvath. More success in the foil. So I'm sure any result in the Sabre competition will be a bonus because he'll have the foil events later on in the week. So the A category, just more movement. Good sitting balance, either with or without support of their lower limbs. And it's normally with low level spinal lesion. So they've, uh, they definitely move a lot more and those chairs there, even though they're fixed, they tend to move along the piste, or the piste tends to move. So uh, it'll be interesting to see that. Well, this is wheelchair fencing, so the athletes must remain in their wheelchairs at all times during the fight, but it doesn't mean they necessarily use wheelchairs in their everyday lives. And we just saw Vasilios Nujunis able to move around without his chair. But once in the chair, at least 50% of their body contact must remain in contact with that chair. And there's referees on either side of the piece whose job is to keep an eye on the amount of movement that each athlete is demonstrating. We've seen red cards awarded for excessive movement and a red card means a point to your opponent so a very costly indeed well especially in these semi-finals well every match contested and uh, very close match the last one we just saw went right the way 14 14 and then all on the last point Well, now it's just the measuring up. You can see the athletes hold their arm at 90 degrees, up at 90 degrees. And it's when the sabre of the athlete with the shorter arm touches the elbow crease of the other. And everything is positioned. The wheelchairs on the platform, which is fixed at 110 degrees. And now just finally checking that the wires are all connected and a contact made with the arm results in a light coming on. We'll just I'll check from Osvath that his sabre is working against Natunis. The referee is happy. And wow, that was on like the a, lightning, wasn't on it? On the A of Ale, both athletes simultaneously attacking in that situation. Incredibly quick reactions from both of these Category A fencers. Well, straight away, Osvath asking for review. It's the first of 15 in these direct elimination fights, and each athlete is given a chance for two appeals. However, if the appeal is successful, those two remain. Yeah, I think he felt that he, he scored but uh, they're competing for every single point here. They know that it could just mean the difference between gold or getting to the final anyway. Well, Osbath almost coming out of his chair with celebration. That is how tense 
the environment is right now. One all. That's Bath Matunis. Matunis so quick off the mark there. The younger of the two, just 26 years of age. Reigns in Atiki. And the counter attack from the Hungarian, bringing it back to two all. Wow, incredibly aggressive, really incredible stuff. Not always going for the larger part of the target, of course. Anywhere on the upper part of the body will register a score. Any part of the blade. Well, the Tunis just initiating that attack. A tiny amount before Osvath, both fences making contact at the same time on each other's jackets. At that time it was the Tunis, the first to make the contact. So puts him three points ahead of Osvath in such a short time. Well, there was a clash there, wasn't there? That's the first yellow card we've seen. And Osvath using the opportunity to start to make a comeback. And it's going to be another card for Natunis. And that will mean a point awarded to Osvath. So Osvath now back within just one point. Yeah, just uh, literally jumped the gun. And, uh, or the alley. And it cost him dearly, it cost him a point. And we've seen that every point here is just so, so important. They're fighting for every single point. Well, fencing originates from France, hence the French language used by the referee. So the on guard is called for the fences to get into position. Prep is just to prepare and then Ale, which is go in French. As soon as that has been said, the fight begins. And in Sabre, it really does begin on the A of Ale. Well, yeah, they're just, they are so, so quick. As soon as uh, they shout Ale, they're, they're in. And you can see that they've already made one adjustment. They've already pulled the chairs back central to the scoreboard. But uh, such is the force and the momentum that uh, it, the chairs get carried away along that platform. The chairs themselves don't move, but the platform does. Well, the score sits at five to four. And the Tunis to Osvath. Very quick on the initiation of that attack by Natunis. And a review has been requested. Yeah, Osvath said that it hit the guard of the of the sabre, of the sword. I think we need a slower replay than that to yep, see any still fine, didn't see it. fine movements. So, so quick. His sabre fencing. And the referee, I'm sure will be making the most of the slow motion replay. <laughs> the slow, slow motion. And he has a couple of opportunities in which to analyze the replay and then make his final decision. And he sticks with the original decision, awarding the point to his right. The Tunis now three ahead. We'll have a break. At the f once we get to eight points, whoever the first to reach that. Osvath starting to feel the pressure. A little bit too movement, much movement in his chair. He kept the control. Yeah, pulled one back. Well, now it's time for a break. And we see Vasilis Natunis, the Greek fencer, lead three points over Richard Osvath. On the Hungarian coach just having a few words with the referee, a little, looking a little exasperated at some of the decisions. Yeah, uh, they're really in between. I mean, we've seen drama in our first semi-final, and now 
Just not happy, but they are fighting for every point here. Absolutely every point. So every little bit helps. Osvath not happy. Tunis just ahead. Still seven points from 15, though, so still everything to fence for. Tunis had the smoother run through the pools and is ranked number one after a very successful pool opener. up. Osvath ranked out in fifth, and at the moment, the score reflecting that. Well, 9-5 now. And Tunis just giving away a valuable point with that red card. Still leads by three over Osbath. The first to 15 in this men's category A Sabre semi final. Uh, some Hungarian support in the crowd. You hear the cheers. Sosvath does his best to make a comeback. He's on his way. One point down. Yeah, well, like you say, that's is that all evens now? 9-9. Nine, nine. Nine. Tunis just getting that little bit desperate, but uh, gets a point back. Still ahead. Well, this is point for point in this semi-final. It seems to go one victory one way and then straight back with the next. Well, that was a little bit too soon and costly for Osvath at this crucial point in the match, just giving away a point to Natunis and putting himself two hits down. The referee getting that red card out again, this time on the other side. Yes, well, what are they going to do? It's 12-11 now, but like you say, both of them just jump in the gun. I mean, they really are going on the A, aren't they? They uh, Everything just exploding off uh, the, the beginning. And, well, now, rather than moving them one way, they've got to hotch them around the other way. So really putting the chairs under immense amounts of... Uh, pressure there, momentum moving them all over the place. Well, that brings us to an even score, and it seems to be the red cards that are putting more points on the board than the actual hits. What a celebration coming from Osfath as he goes one point ahead, and now he is just two points away from a place in the final. This is a quick turnaround. At the break, the Tunis led by three hits. It was 8-5. And since the break, Osfath has won eight points as opposed to the Tunis's four. And that has swapped the scores around. Suddenly, the Tunis starting to feel the pressure. And it's this latter stage of the fight where there is just no room for error. Well, there isn't. And you, you have to stay cool. Got to stay cool, calm and collected. You really have... I'm not sure whether he's saying that it hit the actual uh, wheelchair or something wrong with his chair. Sometimes when they get just a little bit of movement in there, they don't like it. Well, there can also be a little bit of tactics involved if there's something you're slightly concerned about and maybe the momentum has started to go the other way as we've just seen Osvath collecting several hits in a row and suddenly in the lead, it could be to Natunis's advantage just to give himself a chance to compose and come back on the attack. Osfath two hits away from guaranteeing himself a medal at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. Natunis needs three before Osfath gets his next two. Well, it's second semi-final and wow, just drama as well. It's been absolutely incredible, tremendous stuff. Be interesting now just to see what the tactics will be. The Tunis, is he going to go for it? That 
to readjust the the wheel chairs. I think the wheel was actually up on the ramp. Well, the wheelchairs are fixed to the platform. But as we've seen, the platform sits on top of the piste and is able to move. And in the category A, we do see a lot of movement from the fences. And as a result, some movement coming from the platform along the piste. Well, Osfath just getting himself really geared up and ready for this. And that was a red card awarded to Natunis. One point away for the Hungarian from making it into the gold medal match. It's so close and it's Otvath, the Hungarian who celebrates a guaranteed medal. He is through to the final, through to the gold medal match. Natunis will have chance to fight off for the bronze. A moment of celebration, respect with the handshakes from the Hungarian coach. A little look of frustration by Natunis's coach there. Yeah, I didn't quite see why, why the other red uh, card for Natunis, but it was a, a very costly point at that particular stage there. Osfath, like you say, just absolutely revved himself up. Osfath has a 